25th anniversary, um, you know, by, here in D.C., obviously, but what does the success look like for Biden, given everything that is going on in kind of the debate aftermath, kind of what is he measuring? Um, so I, I'll say this, and I've, I've said this many times before as it relates to foreign leaders, um, and look, I'll say that the foreign leaders have had an opportunity to see what the president has been able to do in the last three and a half years. They've seen that uh, certainly up close and personal uh, uh, the last three years, uh, and they know that they are dealing with a president who has been effective and has just has been able to get things done. I just talked about NATO and the president's leadership and how we've been able to strengthen NATO, uh, ma make sure that we invigorated uh, the NATO alliance, and that has that we've been able to to see in the last three and a half years. So the president wants to continue to strengthen those that partnership. Uh, and strengthen those alliances. Obviously, it's not going to just be NATO, uh, NATO uh, allies here. We're going to see others. Uh, for example, D Japan will be here uh, on Thursdays, and other other uh, other heads of states. I believe there's going to be 38 heads of states that will be here. And so we want to continue to strengthen uh, those relationships, and that's what the president wants to see. It is an important year, the 75th anniversary, uh, and I think all of the work that the president has been able to do will be on full display. Just one last question: If the president's health. Um were to decline rapidly next week, just kind of out of the blue. Um, have you had any conversations with, with him, or has he made any comments no, on if he would step aside? That's a hypothetical. No.